In the figure one below, and assuming there is no saturation, determine what would be a the output voltage V0 if the input voltage VI is 7 volts. Compute as well B the indicated output current of the op amp I0 and C the op amp delivered power P0. D now consider saturation. If the op amp is powered by a pair of voltages VCC, negative VCC plus 12 volts, negative 12 volts, what is the maximum possible positive value of the input VI that will not saturate the op amp? Let's begin. We use modify nodal analysis, m &A. The first step, identify the nodes. This is going to be node number one, node number two, and node number three. And uh, the branch current directions are chosen arbitrarily. This one going in, coming out of the node, coming out of the node, leaving this node here, arriving into node three. This one, so in the load, so leaving the node this way and leaving this one and entering uh, the op amp. Those are arbitrarily chosen, we know that, and then we ask ourselves about equations. The first question, it's an op amp problem. Is there a negative feedback? Let's see. There is a link of pure passive elements between the output node and the inverting input, so there is negative feedback and we can write a negative feedback equation. Let me do that. Next, we write a KCL equation for each one of nodes 1, 2, and 3. For node 1, current's going in, 7 minus V1 over 5 kilos. And that is equal to the current's leaving 0 amps this way, and V1 minus V3 over 3 kilos. KCL for node number 2. Current's going in. V0 minus V2 over 10 kilos. And that is equal to the current leaving the node 0 amps plus V2 over 5 kilos. K scale for node 3, this one. Currents going in, two currents, one from the left, one from the right. And that is equal to the current leaving the node V3 over 3. We have a system of four equations and four unknowns. V1, V2, V3, and V0. We solve for them. And here is the answer to the first of the parts of the questions. If we assume there is no saturation, the output of the op amp is 47 and a quarter of a volt when the input is 7 volts. Let's go for the next part of the question. What is the output current I0? Well, for that, now that we know V0, we apply KCL to this Gauss surface and we say that I0 is the sum of three currents. This current in the load, V0 divided by 20 kilos, plus this current, plus the current on the top. Let's write that. That current is 1156 milliamps. We are ready to compute P0, the output power of that op amp, which is just the product of V0 and I0. Let's write that is 546 milliwatts. Now for the last part. What is the maximum value of the input voltage VI that will not saturate this op amp if it's been powered up from a dual power supply of plus 12 volts and negative 12 volts? That is, if the output is 12 volts, what is the input? We know that there is a proportionality between input and output as long as the op amp is not saturated. That proportionality is ruled by the voltage gain AV. That is the ratio from the output voltage to the input one. And we know what it is. That is 47, 25 divided by 7. And that is that ratio, which is 675 volts per volt. 
then the maximum input voltage that will not saturate it, it will be the voltage VI that makes the output equal to plus 12 volts and that is 12 volts divided by the gain 675 and that is 178 volts 1.78 volts is the maximum positive voltage of the input VI that will not saturate the oil pump and that is the solution to the first question of the final exam thank you very much